What's up BZB Gear fans? My name is Matt and today we're going to be talking about the ideal environment for a PTZ camera. So just before we cover what the ideal environment is for a PTZ camera, let's cover what a PTZ camera is specifically. So PTZ just stands for pan, tilt, and zoom. So essentially a PTZ camera is a all-in-one unit. It uh, will let you remotely pan tilt and zoom it. So that's pretty simple. So why would you potentially need one of these PTZ cameras? Well, let's take for example, maybe you are running something where you need to uh, get video content out to viewers, but you're running on a very, uh, number one, a limited budget, which means you're not going to have a whole lot of people that are going to be able to run a camera. And number two, you maybe need something that's small out of the way and doesn't necessarily get in the way. So like, for example, one really good use case for a PTZ camera is going to be churches. They're easy to get out of the way or a house of worship. You can put them up in the ceiling. They're not going to be in people's way. They don't see it. They're not tripping over cables when they're getting to their seats, stuff like that. So uh, it's really good for those kinds of cases um, because number one, it cuts down on any sort of uh, labor that you might need. It, it's pretty easy for somebody to volunteer and get set up on that. Um, they are really simple devices. You can set them up in a number of ways. You can have them be able to be controlled over, uh, over like a web interface with the control software, or you can set them up to be controlled through an app on your phone or a, uh, a joystick device. So multiple ways to get these things connected. But really when we're talking about ideal places to set them up, it's going to be houses of worship, uh, TV studios. I know when I was working at a uh, news station, we actually had a few of these. One of the reasons why I say TV studios are a really good uh, location for these is because you can mount them up in the ceiling. Uh, specifically for news stations, you might have something like a, uh, a little uh, kitchen set. If you mount your PTZ camera up above the kitchen set, you can easily have whoever's running the cameras inside the uh, the booth be able to uh, tilt down, look at the food, zoom in, get different uh, angles on the food while people are cooking. It makes for great action shots. So really, uh, when you're thinking about ideal places to set up a PTZ camera, it's just going to be places where you otherwise wouldn't be able to get a camera or places where putting a camera in that position would be more expensive or putting a camera in that position would limit you on the control that you have. So one thing to keep in mind with PTZ cameras is there are going to be limitations with them. Oftentimes PTZ cameras are made to be small. So when they're made to be small, compact and versatile, that means you are going to have some drawbacks. So when you get a PTZ camera, most of the time they're going to be running a smaller sensor size. So that does mean that when you are considering where to put a PTZ camera, you need to make sure that lighting is going to be very well done. You can't have a PTZ camera in a low light environment and expect it to look fantastic. So that is one thing to definitely keep a, keep your mind on. So I, that's kind of a quick refresher on why you might need a PTZ camera. So just to go over places where I would say you might want one, houses of worship, uh, TV studios, uh, entertainment venues, like um, for example, if you have a play or something, um, those are really good because PTZ cameras allow you to zoom in quite a, quite a distance as well. So really just anywhere where you might need a camera, you need it out of the way, you need flexibility with that one camera, it, something that's simple to operate and gives you a lot of flexibility, especially in the zoom. So thanks for tuning in guys. That's about going to do it on what the ideal locations are for a PTZ camera and we'll see you guys next time.